What's up, folks, and happy Tuesday to you guys. It is Tuesday, man. I'll tell you what, dude. It has been some crazy, crazy weather here in Michigan. Last night, a massive, massive storm came rolling in about 5, 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. Absolutely terrible. We had, like, straight-line winds up to, like, 80 miles an hour, which is basically a small type of tornado, but not really a tornado, man. It did some damage miles away from my house. Luckily, I had a couple branches fall down at my location, so I'm straight. But, man, there's, it was an absolute mess. And, and thankfully, nobody was hurt, man. I'm glad everybody in, in my county, in my city, wherever this thing was, I'm glad everybody was safe, too, because it could have been really, really nuts. Uh, but anyways, guys, back to video games. Um, let's dive into some more drug dealer simulators so what do you guys think man what do you guys think when there's a nasty nasty storm whether it be a snowstorm ice storm or like what we had last night where there was 80 mile an hour winds do you guys think dope dealers still go out there and sell their dope like do you get to call in like sick or can you say hey the roles are kind of bad dude i can't deliver your product to you is that is that how it works in a dope game I, I i don't know i know last time we were playing this game it was like raining there was a freaking monsoon but we were still delivering dope so like can your dope dealer cancel on you like if you need your fix and they say dude it's it's raining it's like 75 mile an hour winds dog i can't make it out to you is that even a possibility i i, I don't know who knows for us here in the game we got to get our money up we got to get our clientele up bro so we got to go out there and sell the dope i guess we can be like the mailman right we actually essentially we really are like the mailman rain snow sleet wind whatever we're gonna deliver your shit that's exactly what we're gonna do so we have to actually deliver what oh, deliver a couple more th god so freaking violent with the door deliver a couple more products i believe would you stop doing that this is not the damn matrix speaking of rain it is absolutely raining in this game all right so we need to go to our cell phone which is right here we have to go deliver two more scheduled deliveries for two o'clock oh my gosh dude two o'clock and three o'clock we are so going to be out here for another hour in the pouring down rain so i guess i mean my question's answered, right? Because it's raining in the game, and we're still going to deliver our product. Especially if you have, like, fiends. If you have fiends that are really, really counting on their dope, your dope, whatever you want to call it, dude, you're going to have to deliver. Otherwise, they're going to show up to your house, and they're going to take their shit, right? They're going to rob you, do whatever they can, because addicts people that are fiends that that desperately need this this is no different than medicine for these folks it really isn't you know what i'm saying like yeah it's heroin acid uh what a meth whatever it may be it is still their medicine and they need it it's like if you have a splitting headache and you're just like in dire need of medication and you can't get any you're gonna probably go to the store and get some or call your buddy i'd be like bro you got any like advil my head is killing me you don't want to sit there and suffer if you don't necessarily have to. If you can prevent that from happening, you're going to, by all means, you're going to, by all means, go ahead and do that. All right, guys, we have our next delivery fool right up here. Let's go give him his medicine. If I ever get stopped by the police dog, I'm going to be like, hey, again, I am a, I am a medicine delivery whatever person. I was trying to think of a, like a big term for that, but I don't know what one is because I don't deliver medicine hey what's up homie i dude literally i am right here get stop looking at your watch you are so exaggerating i have the dope there you go get are you done yes confirm be going huh uh, bro bye you got to speak up flower i don't know what he said he just talks so quietly i have the dialogue up pretty loudly so i'm not sure why it's so uh so quiet on that part which is not the end of the world i mean we don't necessarily need to hear what these folks say because all they say is like hello and goodbye and thank you come again that's all they say i've heard it i've heard it a million times okay let's hop that fence just like that and look at that folks the rain has stopped uh would you have two grams of marijuana bro we were getting hit up left and right these 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 mother foes want our our, our weed like for real dude we must have some good stuff which is not a bad thing, but it's going to get busy with deliveries. All right, guys, let's go ahead and head back. What time is it? It is 
again, it's time for me to get an effing watch because I don't know how to tell time yet. I keep forgetting how to. Is it right here? Oh, no, it is not. We just did it. We just did it. What the, what the hell did we do? Inventory, let's go over there. Maybe we can see our watch. Here's our phone. Can we pull our phone up? No. Okay, what are we doing? We're hitting like 85 buttons here, bro. <laughs> We're hitting so many. Oh, there. The bottom right-hand corner. It's like the skies. It's like... Is barely even white. I mean, our, our email is pretty damn bright and noticeable, but the time it is very, very small and it is way in the bottom right hand corner. Well, we're gonna hang out here, folks, for another half hour. Not game or not real life half hour, but like game time half hour, which is gonna be like 10, six minutes, maybe 6.5 minutes. We're gonna hang out and then once we're done delivering these uh, last little bit of weeds that we have, we're gonna try to grow some weed because that is our next step here in the. Uh, the process of becoming the, lar the largest cartel delivery person in the world. Can I not go up here? Why is this off limits? Oh, we can't. What are we stuck on? What the hell is that about? All right, that was a little bizarre. Hello. All right, nobody here. Who is this guy? What's up, homie? You catching anything? Oh, shoot. Ah. So oh, gosh. My bad, bro. <laughs> My bad. That's exactly why we need a medical tent. Hello. What's up, buddy? Yeah, you must have got some of my weed, huh? Bro, you're living you're living a high life right now. I feel you, bro. I feel your foot is broken. What the hell did you do to it, Tom? Are you dude, there's a Hey, there's a medical tent. There's a medical tent. You should probably probably go over to it. No, you're straight. All right, homie. I'm not going to force your your foot to get looked at. You don't want to get a looked at, dude. It's all up to you, man. I don't care what you do with your life. It is your life to live. All right, we have four minutes until it is go time, until we can sell our last little bit of dope. And then we are going to try the process of growing marijuana, which if you guys have ever watched my previous episodes on Drug Dealer Simulator, we uh, you know, we kind of sucked a couple times growing, growing the weeds. What happened was we forgot to water the plants like, we were doing pretty good, but yeah, we forgot to water the plants, and by the time that we actually went back to go water those said, those said plants, they, they were dead. They died very, very quickly. I mean, it was just astonishing how freaking fast, how fast these things died. Are you my dude? Are you my homie? What's up, buddy? <coughs> Excuse me. Is that your mom singing? My gosh, that lady's loud. I don't think that's our guy, but it's hard to see. Yeah, I, it's got to be. There's nobody else. Oh, here he is. He's hiding behind the bush. What's up? Oh, I'm sorry, lady. Stop checking your watch. That is so obnoxious. I'm literally standing in front of your face. If you would stop looking at your damn watch. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to slap this lady right in the tooth. Yeah, be gone. Bye. I don't like you. You're so impatient. Can I ride the cow? Like, I need a way to get back a little bit quicker. Can I just hop on this guy? Come here. No. No, that's a barbed wire type fence. I don't want to mess with that. All right, let's head back to our little castle up here somewhere. Let's head back over there and see if we can actually develop, build, not build, but make some marijuana. See what the steps are. I'm, I'm guaranteeing we're going to have to gather some type of product to make it. I don't know, maybe a, maybe a seed. No, that's what we had, had before was a seed to grow the marijuana. <laughs> Um, but I don't recall, I don't recall part one ever actually growing it until I decided I really wanted to. You know, we're kind of stepping in, the, in, in a different direction here where we're becoming more advanced sooner. You know, like I said before, we just, I had weed, I bought, did I buy weed? How the hell did I get weed? Maybe I grew it? Oh my gosh, I don't remember when we started growing it. I'm trying to figure out. When the hell, <coughs> excuse me, we started really, really getting a lot of marijuana. I don't, I don't, you know, no, we bought it. That's right. Yeah, yeah, we bought it from Homeboy. That's what it was. Yeah, we started out buying everything. It's been a minute, guys. We started playing Drug Dealer Part 1 a long, long time ago. It's been a hot minute. Yeah, we bought a ton of it. Then we started growing it once we got a different different facility. Like, we had our own little grow building. Dude, what the hell's whistling at me? Oh, it's a bird. Yeah, we had our own little grow. Stop building. That's pretty sweet. Until the plants died, then that uh, 
That kind of discouraged me from growing more plants, but we did. And then on, we accidentally bought plants, uh, outdoor plants. Yeah, that didn't go over too well. The cops, uh, they sniffed those bad boys out and they took them right out of the ground. Which, you know what, in real life, yes, they're in plain view. But they'd have to get a search warrant, dude. They'd have to get a search warrant to go on our property because those were legitimately on our property. And they just, like, broke the barrier of my property and basically stole my weed. But who do you who do you call? You call the DEA, like, hey, hey, man, your, your boys took my weed. They'd be like, and? Like, hey, I want my weed back, bro. What are you doing? Don't be taking my weed. Uh, but, yeah, they, uh, they definitely stole our shit, dude. And we had a DEA. They raided. Our, they raided our apartment. It's not apartment. Our building. One of our buildings, either once or twice. <coughs> Excuse me. I think we got raided twice. And if you guys have never played Drug Dealer Simulator Part One, when they raid your buildings, they park out front for a very long time, so you can kind of see their blacked-out vehicle chilling doing surveillance on your property before they actually raid your shit so you have time to sort of react because essentially once they're doing surveillance all they all you have to do is step foot in your building and they're going to usually boot your door in so what i did is i kind of finagled the system a little bit and i what i did was i got raided and i'm like i just started my game this is not cool and so i reloaded the game and i took out my product one by one i would take it out i would move it to a different location because i had a shit ton of drugs in there guys i would move it from one location to the other location i would quick save my game and i did that like seven or eight times to get all of my product out of my my building i was under surveillance and it actually worked out it was crazy wow, all right so it. um yeah i need to know how to make how to make weed what about that journal of yours? Anything? You're you're Anything. literally no help. Like you're seriously no freaking help at all. Like I don't want to have to read stuff. I want things explained to me, bro. You're just so anal. Look at your fingers, dude. You're twitchy. What's up with you, man? Calm down. Go smoke a bowl. Do something with your life. All right. What do we gotta do? We gotta make weed. All right. So. Here is how we make the marijuanas, all right? So we do need some seeds. Let's start with this guy right here. Let's start with the the number one here. I don't know what this is, indica indica from a, from indica tree from seeding, indica tree from seed. I don't know what the difference is. One just has ing at the end of it and one doesn't. Is that the major difference? <laughs> Anyways, all right, we need a grow box. A drying rack, a hybrid dryer, and drying outdoor rack. I don't want an outdoor rack, bro. I just said my story. You just heard what happened last time we tried to have an outdoor rack. It didn't work. And well, I mean, I guess it wasn't. A, oh my God, we can actually right, access now look, this now. Attention. Oh, Lab here we go. Equipment uses and produces both items as well as substances. Okay. The items are straightforward, but notice that the He's substances actually are teaching listed me in something. the substance storage section. Always check the recipe and make sure what type of ingredient you need to run it. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that, that really didn't tell me anything. All right, do we have a seed? Is that what we have here? So we have one indica seed. We have fertilizer. I know we have fertilizer. We got a few bags. We only brought one bag home for some odd reason. We have water. That equals 35 plant so one seed fertilizer and water equals 35 plants we don't have enough for that we can craft this right now where the hell do we get a seed from all right well we crafted it we have we have one plant dude this is this is a little complicated man there's a lot of stuff here this is a lot different than the other game all we did was stick a freaking seed into a flower pot we threw some water on there and got some lights and some ventilation, and that was it. That was it. I got, dude, my shit is blowing up. People are freaking fiends. Like, they want the weed. Hang on, I'm trying to grow the said weed. So, what do we have here? Are these ready to go somewhere? Are we good to go with these? Do I got to dry them? Can I stick them in my inventory? We definitely can. But what... What did that do? These have 15 more minutes. 
Can I package these, maybe? Let's go over here and see if we can package these up. All right, so we'll put it right here. We're going to... We're not going to do that. I don't know what we're doing. Okay, we're going to put them right here. We're not going to do that either. Either. Um, package drugs. Okay, we have 75 grams total. Does that include this right here? That's 375 grams. Do we have to dry this or something? Like, dude, this is what I'm saying. Like, you got to... Here, but what is this? Here we go. Drying rack. I was going to say we do have a dryer. All right, so let's grab this. And maybe stick it in here. No, that's not going to work. Here. What is this? What is this doing? I don't know. We're going to do 25. Do we have... Is this all this right here? I hope it is. What is this even... Cannabis indica. Okay, we harvest and dry our stuff. And this is going to take either 12 minutes or 23 seconds. I'm very confused on how much time this is going to take. What? All right, so we have our plants. And I was going to say, we had to dry our plants last time. This is quite the dryer. Our dryer last time was like less, like electric. We can just stick it in there and hit a button or whatever. And it's like a... Like an actual dryer dryer. You know what I'm saying? Like you can put your wet clothes in there probably and dry your shit. If you wanted to. All right, let's check this out. So we have... Oh, maybe it's like... Maybe it's 30 seconds or one minute per plant. One gram of cannabis indica added to... Yeah, so it must be like 45 seconds or whatever it is. 31 seconds per plant. All right, that's cool. So we have some more weed. Uh, do you need something? Do you want to actually talk to me? Or are you going to yell at me, trippy okay, ass? Great. Now what? you can go and visit Lonzo to talk about expansion. I'd go change if I were you. You, uh, look like shit. Alright, dude, you've got to speak the hell up. I'm going to turn you all the way up. Like, you guys probably can't hear him at all, bro. He is just so quiet. Alright, let's try that. Go ahead and say oh, it again. Come on, man, hurry up. Okay, great. All right, now you can go a little better. Lonzo to talk about expansion. Okay. I'd go change if I were you. You, uh, look like shit. Look at yourself, man. I mean, seriously, dude. Marcus, like, you are dissing me this entire time, but you are tripping, bro. Like, you are a tweaker. What are you doing with your fingers? Just come. What are you staring at? Are you staring at my shirt? You're lucky I got a damn shirt oh, on, yeah. man. Take these amber gemstones and sell them to Helen on your way out. Always some extra cash will come in hand. Awesome. See you later. He's got a long list of stuff for me to do. Like, all the time. He was never this damn needy last game, bro. All right, do we actually have to, like, change? I really don't want... Oh, well. I... I think we look pretty good, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this is a tropical island. We got a suntan. My dude looks pink like a tomato. We don't want to get... We don't want to get like too hot, but all right, I'll, I'll put the shirt on just for you, Marcus. Right, do I gotta take this off first? We can go like that. All right, consider changing your clothes. We have a marijuana shirt on. Is, is that a marijuana shirt? That's kind of what it looks like. Well, we change our shirt, that is good enough. All right, hideout stash provides you with additional store space in a hot, in each hideout. Use lab equipment to produce and mix drugs. I know. I know we did that last time. Maybe oh, my gosh. We got to stop doing that. Bye, Marcus. All right. Where are we going? This stuff is... Who's breathing so heavily? How is this stuff doing? This stuff is... We still have, what, 20 more to go. That is going to take a hot second, folks. Let's go. Is that our little pot and plant, pot thing? Pot and pans. That's what I almost said. All right, well, let's head out here. We have a long list of things to do. We need to go pick up homeboy's money. We need to go meet homeboy or this other homeboy. And we got to go talk to Helen. We have three things to do. Not to mention we have people that want their dope as well. So we should we actually bring some dope to them? I almost think we should. Let's at least hit up two people since we're here. I think we have stuff, right? Yeah, we have stuff. All right, let's get our phone out. We have... We have people hitting us up, man, left and right. All right, so this dude, this dude, actually, eh, I don't know. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so he wants three grams of the marijuana. We can do that. What time is it? It is 619. 
Uh, let's go and do 1,900 hours, man. We got to go do this quick, bro. Did we already grab the three grams? I don't think we did. Let's just probably... Let's just do this. Where is our weed at? I don't want to craft. I don't want. I don't. I want my weed. Where is it? Right here. I think this is it. Right here. And bro, yeah. There we go. Whew, I'm like losing. I'm like. I know we have something. Like, where is it? Let's just do this guy because we're gonna run out of time, man. Did we not do it? Three. Add. Pack and take. All right. Well, I think we have it. I don't know. We have we have six grams, and there's another thing that's a little bit different than the other game. Like we could give out samples. Can we still do that? I mean that was, I mean that was good. I never, I don't know if I had people actually come back to me after I gave out samples or, or not. I, I don't remember. You know what I'm saying? Like we had so many customers, dude. It was unreal. Like it was really, really hard to tell who was a. I mean I could tell who was a return customer, but we had tons of dealers that were dealing for us we had tons of customers we have tons of addicts you know we had the whole nine yards bro like we were doing pretty good and i gave out tons i keep saying tons because it wasn't tons it was like seven or eight dealers and you know like maybe 10 addicts i don't know either way guys i remember giving out quite a bit of dope to just random people and i, I don't recall if anybody ever Ever hit us back up, be like, yo, man, the indigo shit you gave me was legit. Give me some more. I don't remember that at all, man. It could have happened. You know, it, it could have very easily. And I just, it just uh, slipped my mind. Or we just didn't notice it because we were so busy. I mean, there were times, guys, I wasn't even able to deliver marijuana or deliver any types of narcotics to anybody other than, like, my dealers. Because... We had so many dealers, and that was your money maker. Was your dealers? They, you you give your dealer two, three hundred grams, and you're gonna make a shit ton of money. Versus me giving like you know five grams to an addict. But the difference is, folks, is when you give your money to a dealer, it takes a little bit of time, dear God, to get your money back. Or you take the chance of that dealer getting caught by the police, which happened a few times with us. With an addict, they they pay up they pay up right then and there but on the flip side they can also overdose and die <laughs> that doesn't look good that doesn't look good for you we had i think two or three people overdose and die uh you know during drug dealer simulator part one dude i was i was standing right there did you not see me standing there and you're still checking your watch like a ah, yes, goodies goodies yeah here's your goodies I, God, that is super duper loud now. So yeah, dude, it's it, there's there's pros and cons for doing. I don't think I turned it down. Pros and cons for doing things the, the way we did it. Um, but I kind of wonder if they're gonna have the same shit in this game. I, I at least a, a, out of everything we just talked about, I would love to have dealers underneath me. And it sounds like we're probably going to if we're gonna be like the biggest cartel person on the island. We are going to have to have somebody do our dirty work. Somebody do this. This tedious work right here of selling narcotics to the street level buyers and I can handle the bigger and better business. You know, that's what I wanna that's what I wanna gear my operation, my business towards is that right there. Should we take the ferry over? That costs money. I'm not gonna take the ferry over. It's a beautiful day, the sun shining. Let's get a picture of the sun. It's like 85 degrees. The humidity is at 90%. Let's go ahead and run over here. See ya. I tried to jump, but it didn't work out. But I'm really actually happy we can swim. Is that a bonfire or fire? What is going on to the left of our screen? Somebody is burning something. It's never good, guys. Never good to have stuff being burnt on a cartel island. It could be a body. It could be a turkey. I really don't know what it is. We might find out. We might not. What is this guy doing? Are you getting your van windows clean with your hand, mustache boy? Yep. Yep. Looks like you're doing absolutely nothing. And you have bright green shoes. Crazy. So let's at least accomplish this right over here. Head over to this location. I'm not sure which one this is. Which job we're doing right now. We have three jobs that Homeboy wants us to do. Like always, he just 
orders us to do all kinds of craziness. But again, last game, dude, he was definitely not this pushy. He was like, hey, go sell dope. Don't get caught. You'll be good to go. That was it. That's all he said. He wasn't this, <laughs> he wasn't this trippy, dude. So, I hear a plane. I wonder if we can ever fly a plane. Or even, like, deliver narcotics through the air. That'd be, dude. Jeez, we got hurt again. That would be legit. Are you kidding me? I'm on the wrong side. My goodness. Oh, here we go. Hello. DEA. Well, oh, just dead. kidding. Am I old and blind, or is that actually you? Billy? Damn, I didn't recognize you. What are you doing here? Me? Yeah. What are you doing here? I've heard about some drug deal going on with Lonzo. Is that you? Uh, yeah, that's, that's me. Hell, listen, we got to catch up. Do your thing. I'll settle my business with Lonzo after you leave, and then we can meet at my boat. How's that sound? Uh, you got a boat? Is that what he said? Hell yeah. Sure thing. Damn, man. What a surprise. Bye. Uh, board, Billy's. You got a yacht, Billy? Duh. Shit. Is that it? Is, oh, wait, no. We got to talk to you. Hello. What's up, buddy? Uh, I'm Marcus's friend. I was supposed to come here. He told right, me right. to come here. He's kind of a nice dick. Nice to meet you, I guess. Uh, I'm Lanzo. Nice to meet you. you. Oh, no. no. I will help you spread the word. But I'll take a percentage of your income. Questions? Um, negative. Percentages. Yes, Percentages, if I can speak territory. English. I'm oh, speaking no. island, guys. I'm sorry. I've been a cartel drug dealer for two days now, and I'm starting to speak the lingo. Not my fault. What do you want, bro? All right, you bring me the product. I distribute it so the folks get to know your goods. There we go. Here's our first dealer. Uh, after that, after that, you take over. For now, I'll take fifteen percent. You little thief! No, of any sales done under my territory. If we work together for a longer time, we can negotiate, shall we? I don't really have a choice. I can't say go packs in. One more thing, I got you. Oh, huh. one more thing. On the left, make yourself a lead. What? You did? You didn't say everything. There's no way you said all this. There's a phone you can use to listen to your messages. Also. Feel free to use the bed. Your bed? I have my own bed. Thank you. Uh, but don't get too used to seeing how can I be whatever. All right, so we have this guy. Can we go on your yacht now? This dude's kind of creepy. He wants me to stay here. I really don't want to stay here. Not comfortable in his with his bed. Probably doesn't even have a nice bed. It, it's definitely yeah, not a nice bed. Yeah, that place is a mess. Yeah. But it's just for the time being. Wait. Always up a notch from that filthy bunker. Ew. Though. Anyway. Wait. Go out there, earn some money so this you can move worse. to a normal place of your own. Oh, hell yeah, we can get our own place. Now you're talking. We have our map. Okay, now, that's your base of operation. Here, you can check the status of your territories, your wealth, your okay. street cred, and much street more cred. useful information. It will come in handy. Hell yeah, it will. Uh, increase reputation and I'll unlock re. This is just like part one. We know what to do. We know how to do it. We're going to do it just fine. All right, small island. We are beloved. Who the f are you? Okay, okay, y'all are dicks. I got you. We're gonna we're gonna change that. You're gonna love my product 100%. We take the money here. Nope, we cannot steal the. I'm not stay. I'm not staying here. We can't. We cannot steal the money. But I'm not staying in this nasty room with a damn propane tank just sitting there. And somebody took a shit on the wall. Like that's absolutely disgusting. Can I go in here? Yeah, we're not. We're not even gonna worry about it. We're out. Bro, you got to do something in there, man. Where do you sleep? I'm not sleeping with you. Hell no. Is your yacht available? Why are you sweating so much? What's in here? This door cannot be opened. All right, so we do not have a computer. There's probably no internet. To be honest, man, there's probably no internet here. You know, we are on a, a secluded tropical type island, so who knows? But and there you have it, folks. There is a lot of similarities from... You know, part one to this game, but they're, they may be a little bit similar, but they're a little bit different too, which is nice. Like, you're not the same thing. Like, we had a computer, you know, we knew what to do. Now we have this old-ass map because we're living in the Stone Ages, evidently. We have a, a room here during the first part one of this game. Drug dealer, similar to part one. We had an apartment complex. We had our own place. You know, that was our, that was our main starting hub was that apartment complex. And then we bought other locations 
and all basically we just had those other locations for our business who just came in like we didn't stay anywhere else besides that apartment we actually really didn't stay anywhere we just kind of ran around um but either way guys so this game has a lot of potential dude i'm super excited super stoked to continue playing this to build our franchise up to being the biggest we possibly can make it uh that's gonna come with time but we're gonna definitely definitely rock it out sooner than later so with that being said folks hope you guys have a great rest of your night and i will see you next time